Okay, I thought I would close the loop on this thinning exercise in my woods. You'll remember way back in March I came out here and showed you this red oak tree that was being overtopped by a red maple clump and I said I wanted to provide some canopy space for that red oak and I was going to have to cut the dominant red maple stem out of this cluster of four, two of which were dead and the two mill ones are dead. This one on the outside was alive but not overtopping my oak and actually growing the other way. And then this one was overtopping the oak. So today I finally had the opportunity to come out. Today's May 7th and was able to cut this one without having to cut either the dead ones that are being used by woodpeckers and other birds for insect foraging or the live one right now. I was able to have enough space to get in there and make the back cut. The tree fell where I wanted it to. Got hung up a little bit but was heavy enough to break its way through. So that'll be some good firewood. And now this oak has plenty of crown space. So before it was completely overtopped by the red maple. In fact, the red maple was leaning over it. And now the red oak has all the crown space it needs to fill out and do a lot of good photosynthesis and produce a lot of acorns for the next hundred years or so. So finally got out here and was able to do it. Left the little hemlock growing next to it because that's growing beneath the crown of the red oak. It's not going to be a competitor. And I was able to leave, like I said, the other maples in this sprout clump so the woodpeckers can continue their work. Right. Here's where a big pileated woodpecker has been working away at the base. But this guy now has plenty of space to fill out and do a lot more photosynthesis. So a successful single tree thinning operation.